See, and this always sucks. Let me block. Still thought he was bigger. Still the slam, the way these fish hit these fish. I caught nothing. Uh, I have a little pole. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> God! Man, this thing smacked it, dude. Smacked. Really got him in the lower lip. Another little guy. Yeah, another 12 inch. They are smacked. Hey! His mouth was wide open. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Straight. What a monster. Nothing but momentum. Yeah. 10 inch worm, 10 inch fish. Ain't that a little lower lip fish? Still, man, they little guys wake it like there's something serious there. God. Nothing. It's always the little ones that make it. Look at this gash in his belly there. Oh, yeah. Aww. Snatched at him a little bit. Right. Smoke show over here. Try to be. Oh, uh oh. God, that was it. That was it. <laughs> that was the one. Cody over here swinging a miss, looking that like was the one. looking like me. Push down. There you go, Cinco fish. She's getting backboated while Cody and I are up here smoking swim baits on these lily pads. Good job. Yeah, I'd say that's uh, it's pretty well done. And this always sucks. I'm gonna cover the addresses here, but unable to forward. That is actually a couple hats and shirts and baits off to a winner of a giveaway. And I had sent them like. Three months ago, and the guy was like, "Dude, where are my baits? Where are my baits? Where are my hats?" I'm like, "Eh, I sold them. I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell you, you know." So, uh, I guess he has like construction going on at his house, and I don't know. Mailing guy just got messed up, so it got sent back, like 94 days later. So, your package is coming. I promise. <laughs> oh, I'm charging out these bad boys. And three more little rechargeable batteries for the six here. And uh, we definitely need them this morning. Absolutely whacking some fish. So three more would have been nice. I went and bought three more to have. That the pizza? Just to keep three batteries in the boat. That way I always have them. I don't travel with them in the box here. I just always have them in the boat there, which is cool. You know, the old pizza's dripping away on you in there. I think it's ready. I'd say so. <laughs> it's gonna look like this sheet right here. Oh, nice. As if my lens wasn't messed up, messed up enough to put heat all over it. Nice. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno, right? <laughs> the pizza place called the kitchen hey look at that just good old focus there it goes we are gonna organize some worms nothing but stick baits right there different finesse style stuff everything from five to six inch senkos to different types of that big old girl there. Different, diff tons of different types of worms, dogs, different stuff. I said straight tail, but I was uh, completely wrong, as you can tell. I got a straight blue tail. I love this stuff. I love organizing this crap. That's a good one. The old rainbow. They're just like little finesse. We got a little kick tail to them in there at the end. Oh yeah, focus game 100. <laughs> God. God forbid technology is on my side for like one day of its life. That thing's pretty legit. That's a crazy color. I've never seen that before. They got the same color. That's the thing. A lot of the stuff in here is not really like, you know, straight up June bug worms or anything like that. I mean, they're all 
not off colors, but I mean, they're all different. They're not, uh, you know, normal colors you'd see. I mean, look at this thing right here. I mean, that's an off color. It's kind of like an electric purple type of color. Nineteen different styles and colors here. Um, basically, I worked it all out. All this other stuff's gonna get bagged up, and also oh, uh, these here too, which is these are pretty gnarly. I fish these a lot. Ten inch ribbon tails. That one's got an all blue tail, and then these are. Oh, never mind. This one's matching too. But these three have just black and blue tails to them. So to fill a box, you need one more style. These are pretty cool too. Hold on to these. Just a crazy different color to them. It's kind of like a like a plum with green flake in it. It's kind of like a an off color. It's kind of cool. There's a whole little kit we were able to put together though. And that's two two same base colors, but I put some of the green flakes on the bottom as well. Ten inch ribbon tails. Here, just some cut tail worms. I wouldn't even know what you would cut that, or what you would call that cut there, but that's the same style on the end there. And then two seven and a half inch ribbon tails, like an electric violet, and then like a black with purple flakes. A pretty cool little setup there. Definitely pretty much dark water setup, but excluding the green pumpkin watermelon candy colors. There's nothing but just bags and bags of straight empty packages. I used to have like three bins of these things, and when I got to Georgia, I gave away a ton to some buddies of mine that needed them. But I mean, there's literally thousands in here. So I gotta bag up a ton of plastics and put them in storage type containers so they can, a lot of the stuff I won't use right now, so I'm just bagging it up to keep it from taking up like tackle box storage and that whole nine yards, you know? That way it's it's there, it's together. Put it away for a for a rainy day, so to speak. Alrighty y'all, yes that is an old video. Uh, I was still in the army and uh, it was before I'd got a half sleeve here. You know, all those were collections of one dollar plastics that had you know abundance of in a box or in a bag rather. And I'm sending them, I have to send them actually off to Canada, so I can't send stuff to Canada on the postal service when I was when I was on my base. So I came back, you know, obviously moved back to Florida now, so now I'm sending that stuff up to him. But you know, we were doing a ton of tackle organization, kind of just bumping videos. And I wanted to clear this video off of the hard drive here and just end this video with some, you know, good pointers and good like tips on as far as like tackle sort is concerned. So lower lock boxes, I don't know if you guys have checked this out yet. Really good for terminal tackle, really good for hooks tungsten weights everyone hates when the tungsten weights clack around different companies like that where the paint is pretty much not appealable Wu tungsten for example as well again just trying to clear this off and uh pushing some tackle unboxing y'all's way there's also a cool little beginning to uh the fishing there that lake out there shout out to cody keller we're gonna be doing a couple more videos out there trying to find some some more fish there's tons of lily pads out there and there's a ton of fish moving shallow the water is up like four or five feet in that lake so there's going to be a ton of fish up there shallow so we're excited to fish that more just a simple little you know 10 minute video to push out to you guys on this monday afternoon i did pledge that i'd be putting a video out every day so i wanted to get this one out and i'm working on four awesome i mean sweet sweet fishing video fishing videos that you guys need to stay tuned for and uh, some really big news coming and uh, I was able to fish with a really cool person out in the water. So I'm excited to get that video out to you guys. Appreciate you guys if you've made it this far. I appreciate you guys leaving a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel and sticking around for some awesome content this week. I'm really excited, like I said, to push some st stuff out to you guys. Hope you stay tuned to the channel, the Instagram page this week. We'll catch you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Get out there, stay positive, stay stress-free, catch some big fish. Right on. See you guys.